Welcome back. It's great to be in the shop after being gone for a while. Today we're going to finish the functional side of restoring the boys crane saw. Some of this footage you're going to see is from a month ago. Namely what we're going to do is make guards for the pulley and for the bottom part of the frame here. We're going to make an insert for the table. We're going to adjust the blade guide a little and some other little stuff here and there. Uh, I'm going to show this all as highlights because uh, it's going to be too long of a video if I do these all in depth. Let's get started. I don't want anything to get caught up inside the belt and the pulleys, so we're going to make a guard to go around the frame here in order for a guard to fit on. I've got to cut off anything that's protruding outside of the frame, starting with this overhang from the shaft. And hacksawing a shaft while spinning turned out to be a very slow way of doing it. But there's a last time for everything. And there's the guard. I bent these corners with a torch. Sorry you didn't get to see that, but it looked a lot like this. Not that great looking, but it is welded and I did get penetration. I can see a whole lot of <laughs> whole lot of the weld popping out through um through the other side. <clears throat> Here's the completed guard. I've bolted it to the brackets that would hold the gearbox that the saw came with as an option. 
one of these days I'll paint it the same shade of gray as the rest of the saw and paint the bottom guard as well. We're going to make an insert for the table. This is a circular disc that prevents the workpiece being sawn from being sucked down below the table. Right now I've got something like three inches. A little bit bigger with the burr, I, I figure. I'm going to clean this off and turn it down to two and a half. Five thousands left. Well, my redneck blaze mandrel and my redneck flood coolant system did pretty good. I've got to go over to the saw and measure what that little inner diameter is going to be. I see, you can see now that, uh, there's this kind of thing going on with this bump in there. So I've got to replicate that onto the uh, insert. Got the worst work piece set in. I'm going to take off 600,000. Just took off 100 here, and so I've got a little bit of a step there. Here we go. Now we're milling out a pocket for a feature in the table that I've been calling the bump. There is a hole in the bump and it looks like there would have been a pin in the insert that would keep the insert from rattling around as the saw blade passes through it. What I'm going to do to make this just look a little bit nicer is draw a file this. Filing is done, and now that all the turning is definitely done, I can plug up this hole because I won't be using the lathe on this part anymore. I'm finishing making the prototype because when I go to do the real thing, I don't want the real thing falling into that slot. Even though it won't because it's the same size, but it will flop over or something like that. Okay.
coming from this is uh, I'll make the slot first before I put the pin in because I think that the pin doesn't want to play nice with um, where the blade wants to be. Okay, now the real thing. Another thing I'd like to do here is to modify the blade guide a little bit. I want to take off a little bit more of this side so that uh, so that the blade can be pushed over a little bit to uh, get rid of this gap that you can see. You can see a little bit of uh, my hand through between where the square and the blade is. And also it's kind of Also, it's kind of maxed out on uh, how far it is to the left here. already tightened. Let's see how straight it is. Okay, that's good.
Put in an eighth. Lopped off this part of it. And that's where I'm going to stop. Uh, later on down the line, I'm going to maybe make a door for this. But this is going to be towards the wall, so there's no chance of anything getting in here and getting caught up. With these couple of things addressed, I can declare this saw working and safe to use. Thanks for watching. How to be a cheap welder.